okay, okay. You know what really annoys me, what really, really bugs me is the fact that most running shorts that I buy do not have enough pockets in them. And that I think is probably my favorite feature of these shorts. I get two pockets in here. I've got, this is really cool, I've got this hidden pocket down the liner. I can keep my phone in here. I usually have to take a running belt with me and get my phone and my key in. And then on the back, there's a little zip pocket where you can carry uh, your van key as well. Oh, if you're new to the channel, my name's Stephen. And if you like the outdoors, have a look around. You might find some more stuff you like. These are the Chubby's Perforated Ultimate Training Short. But they cost 90 pounds. <laughs> Sometimes they're on sale around seven, but 90, I don't think I've ever spent more than like 25, 30 pounds in a pair of shorts. And I've had these, don't know why I did a little jump there. I've had these for the last month and I have tested them thoroughly. Thoroughly have I tested these shorts. I've done five the seven hour mountain runs in these. I've covered well over a hundred miles in them, all kinds of sweaty, sticky, horrible conditions where if the shorts aren't good, you're gonna be suffering at the end of it. And I'm gonna tell you what I found and what my opinion of these shorts is in just a minute. But before then, let's take a closer look. And I haven't thought this through very well. Um, if anybody comes in that direction, can you let me know? Anyone peers around that corner? Give me a second. Okay, that's breezy. Here we are, the Chubby's Perforated Ultimate Training Short, designed to be, well, according to the raw material, super comfy, made from super wicking, wicking materials, wicky, wicky, wow, wow. Look, I'm not a, a, a fashion or textiles expert, so I'm just gonna go through the features on these. If you wanna get specifics of the exact blend of whatever materials, spandex, there's some spandex involved in these, they are. They're stretchy, I did notice that. So if you like to lounge, 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 lounge? Is it lounge or lounge? One, lounge, one of those means lying down and the other one means doing. Perforate it, that means it's got these holes in it. So the idea with that is it's super ventilated. So if you're out in all kinds of, let's call them swampy conditions, um, these should have you ventilated as much as you're gonna be able to. Uh, they've got a nice reinforced waistbands here. Bright pink. By the way, if you hate the color of these, I have had a few people comment on the color of these. Um, they do do them in a range of other color options. I've had some horrible experiences over the last year with chafing in very uncomfortable areas, inner thighs and elsewhere. A really comfortable liner is a big concern for me and these have a very good, again, it's stretchy, comfortable liner, but it's not just made from the same material. It's got this, well, the outside has one type of material and then the inside has this much softer, softer blend, which, well, I mean, you could probably figure out the logic of why they would put a softer bit in certain areas. Can you tell I haven't reviewed a pair of shorts before? Good pockets on both sides. And then the back here, you've got a secure zip pocket. Um, and then down the right-hand side, my favorite little pouch is this one here, where you can get a mobile phone in that. As I said previously, even on short runs, I was carrying like a waist, a waist belt. Now I can wear these, I stick my phone down the side, I put my key in the back and I run. The question is, what have these actually been like to use? And as I said, I've used these a lot. I have to say, honestly, in all honesty, complete honesty, I would probably not have bought these had I just seen them advertised and saw how much they cost. I've been very, very skeptical. As I said, I have not spent more than 25, 30 pounds, but having now worn a pair of expensive training shorts, I would probably not go back. In fact, I would not go back to a cheap pair because these have genuinely been the most comfortable shorts I have ever worn on a run. I wore these on the Morn 7 Sevens race, which was a seven, over seven hour race, 19 miles up here in the mountains, thousands of feet of climbing, thousands of meters of climbing, wore these all day. Do you know how much chafing I had at the end of the day? None. No chafing did I have. I didn't even use body glide and I didn't chafe. These were so comfortable. Also really, really good for using them as a pair of like water shorts as well. I've used them as swimming shorts. Um, I've gone kayaking in them. I've gone paddle boarding in them. Um, and 
I mean, that's, that's it. That's it, really. I'm not sure what more you want from a video about shorts. I wore them, they were comfortable, I didn't chafe. Hopefully Chubby's are... Chubby sent, sent these to me for free, they said. We'll send you a pair of shorts if you like them. Maybe make a video about them. So, I, I like them and I've made a video about them. It's a pair of shorts, I'm not sure what else I can, I can say. This has been my first review of a pair of shorts. Uh, feel free to have a look around the channel where you will not find any more videos about shorts, but you will find more videos about running and the outdoors and just generally having adventures and a fun time and not taking things too seriously outside. And you might want to subscribe or you might want to go somewhere else. I had a message, comment from somebody. The other day said they hated my music. That ruins all my videos. So, well, she can just slide on somewhere else. That's the shorts.